Okay, y'all, we're in the uh, the bathroom over here at this, the building we just bought, and the commode needs to be rebuilt, so we're going we're gonna to put a new flapper in it, because we've got one, and we're going to put this thing in it, on whatever it is, universal toilet fill valve. Um, so, we got a pair of pliers, and we're going to get to it, and uh, I'll get back with you here in a minute. I don't know that you can see anything, but I took the bolt off. Now I gotta take this other one off up here. That's a plastic one. And of course, me holding it. the camera, I can't see nothing either. Anyway, gotta get that bolt off. This is pretty easy. I ain't never actually did this, believe it or not. Rami normally does this kind of stuff, but. Basically, there's one screw there. It's a plastic nut right there that lays down in that bucket. That goes on there and that rubber washer tightens up on it and the water runs through. Well, the water runs through and comes out this hose up here. It runs over there and I guess water floods out the bottom of this float valve. And when the float valve gets up to a point, it shuts the water off. That's all there is. So... Anyway, we've got to check this one, make sure it's somewhat close to the same, and it looks to be pretty much the same. We'll stick it on there and bolt it up, put the water line back on it, and it should be, you know, pretty well done, that part of it. Um, got my rubber hose in there, and we'll get that installed. Little packet fell down here. Packet's got that bolt I was telling you about. Oh, it's got the little thing to uh, stick on the overflow there. Hmm. This is like a two or three minute job to do this. Of course, we got two of them today. Two sinks today. A flapper. A flapper's going to take a minute to do. We're going to have to go turn the water on and check everything again and make sure the uh, water don't run down on the floor. But, get back to you in a minute. Lighting's horrible, but we got the, uh, we got that in. We ran it over and ran it in here. The problem with this thing was the flapper, the chain had rusted off of it. So, Got a new flapper, and these these are nothing to put in. You just hook them two little things around them two little pins there. Like there's one, there's the other one. It's installed. You take the chain and you hook it up here, and you're done. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing to it. Hook it to that handle there. Basically, that's gonna go in there like that. And you pull the handle. And it flushes the commode and you're done. So that's all. Well, do we think it's spraying all over the floor right now? It is ain't much we can do about it. You know, the other day when we was looking at this one to come up real slow. It's coming up a little faster now. Quit. 
Yes, it has quit. So we're all the way up. About where it was before. Now I can bring it up a little more by turning that off. And that'll push the float down and put a more pressure on it. And I'll turn it the other way and it'll pull it down and put less pressure on the float. problem right here the handle on the back of the motor you flush it and see the handle getting stuck it won't come all the way back up with it not coming all the way back up it's holding the flap up that time it went all the way that time it stayed open there didn't go all the way back down if you bump the handle it'll go back down let me make the chain a little longer. Well, they had this over here. Some laundry detergent. Complete cleaning with quad technology. It does 32 loads. I don't know. And a commode. Complete cleaning. Quad technology. Active technology. It says it whitens, it brightens, it fightens through stains and tackles over. It does 32 loads. Well. I dumped the whole damn thing in there in the bowl of it, I mean in the back of it, trying to uh, get it to smell a little better and <laughs> this Mr. Clean with Febreze and there was about a quarter gallon of that and I dumped it all in there. We're going to get it smelling right in here one way or another. But anyway, got that dumped in there. The commode's working all the way now. Um, that should be it for this one. We'll uh, we'll tackle the sink next. We're starting to clean the bathroom. Right
and when they shut the door and they're in there talking. You hear them? Y'all ain't doing funny stuff in there, are you? Huh. Y'all doing funny stuff? They won't answer me. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Tú las chumpas? They say they're chumpas. No mamas, way. There you go. Ain't good. Ain't good what they're saying in Spanish. She's getting awful white in here. Sink, the sink's leaking bad underneath this faucet. So we need a basic wrench or something to get up in there. We're going to, uh, I think the whole thing will lift right up off of the, the wall there. And we can work on it out here. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can sit you up over here where you can watch and see what's going on. I'm going to take this side loose. Shut it off. sink evidently just locks down on that and that's all it holds it so uh we're gonna do that i got to caulk where i can recalk it uh, i gotta get these lines off where i can go get new ones and then we'll be good to go let me get this uh faucet out of here and i will let you know how all this works here now let's grab here 
basically you got two more. I could tell it was coming from this side, but I don't know exactly what on this side. There's a spider in there. Put my pliers back. My flowers is over here, and there's a spider. Get him out of there. piece here but it could be that the faucet is cracked there where I can't tell so we're gonna take it all loose here and see what we come up with this hose was stretched to the point where it was stretched tight which I didn't like you see that there and that there it's all stretched out to the point where I didn't like it it's time for me new stuff. These are plastic bombs. So just knock on them, they'll come loose this here. Just loosen that up. Now it'll come off and then this will come out and that comes out. Know, these are the cheapest thing you can buy. So we'll just put another. And seriously, they're like, I don't know, uh, that was the fifteen dollars. This one's got rubber gaskets, so we're gonna put a gasket on there. And then we're gonna put a battery or uh, lock like so. Then a gasket. Then a lock like so. That's done. Now we're gonna, we're gonna reuse the old one. We're gonna stick it in there like so. And then we can uh, we'll run that on there and that on there. And basically, we can lock this down. Okay. That's tight. That's not tight, but it felt like it was tight. Part of that on this on bend this to go over that. Then I'll keep it there. But it's there just in case. So that's done. Now I need two new lines. I do not have them here. We're going to have to go get them. And uh, I want these rubbers. This is a 20 length. I need 24 and a 20. 24 and a 20, probably. Yeah. 24 for the hot, 20 for the cold. We're going to have to run down the road and get some. Okay, y'all. I got the I got the hoses on here. Um, 
they're tight on both sides. I got different size hoses. Um, that one is a 20 inch. That takes the place of this one. So it's about maybe two inches longer. So we don't have no problem there. And this 20 inch, you know, it was pulling real tight now. The only thing I had was a 36, which is a little long, but I think I can and make that work. So we're gonna try to set this back up on the wall there and get everything lined up by myself and see if I can get everything bolted back in. So we're gonna to to set you up here and let's see what I can do with it. Hope I don't drop it. And if I do, I'm gonna tell Ron it fell off the wall and get rid of this damn video. There's the hot. Pipe them up. Okay, that's tightened up. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Okay, it's all tightened up. But before we caulk it down, we're gonna go turn the water on and we'll come back and check and make sure it don't leak. So we'll get back with you. Okay, y'all. I don't know if y'all saw that last one or not, but uh, I turned my turned my pressure, I mean my cold water on, and I reached up here and flipped this on, and the thing went shoot, with the air rushing through it and busted that other faucet. So I had to change out to this one. Um, this one's better compliance anyway because it's got the handles here that will let you do it on and off like so but it's all working everything's going good um got it all tight got it all clean man no leaks i'm fixing the caulking i got the caulk gun here i'm gonna recaulk it now and we'll be done okay y'all we got the bathroom painted off the floor we got the ceiling we got the uh, we got the wall we got big We got it all caulked back and uh, ready to go. We got the tenant coming to look at it, see if she likes it. So we'll let you know something here, Sean. Okay, folks, we've been working and working and working on the bathroom. Look, we patched the ceiling back up, even that spot over there. Without that, uh, without that vent going to the other side, it looks a lot cleaner. And then we replaced the blocks up there, got that a lot cleaner. Painted everything. I don't know, Donnie, I can kind of see it's still a little, that's a little thin, but hopefully our new customer will paint it a little better. And then we've been painting the floor too. So we painted it some like old epoxy color. Kind of old school bathroom, but <laughs> it is what it is. It's just a little, it's just basically for the, uh, the owner of the, of the business. Um, but we pretty much got her all done. Look at all that, huh? Got a little doorknob on it. Everything looks good. We got the, the paint still wet on the floor, so. But, uh, 
I think the main thing was we got it all painted and we fixed up the ceiling a lot better. It was pretty damn rough. You remember, Donnie, it had like a... Had a big hole right there in the middle. Had a big hole right there. That's where they said the roof was leaking. And then over there, there was a pipe that had went out of the roof at some point. Fixed it up. Oh, and painted the shelf. Much cleaner, much nicer. What do you think, Donnie? I think it looks good. We put a new, uh, rebuilt that commode and we uh, put a new faucet on it. Yep, rebuilt the commode, put a new faucet on it. Um, put new supply lines. Supply lines. We took the, the hot water tank that's on the other side, had a wire that was running around the top and threw a hole up there into the other side. We took that out. And, uh, you know, if the hot water tank's on that side, then it should be powered from that side pretty much <laughs> instead of running through the wall. Um, cleaned up this, uh, uh, the feed, the electrical feed going into this box. So it's up to code and all that stuff. So what do you think, Donnie? Tell them what to do. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, folks. We'll see you next time.